For the past couple of decades, increased all the more so with government action like the Paris Accord, the world is demanding more renewable energy, and it seems impossible to meet the demand, especially without harvesting the wind. According to recent measures, wind turbines share just 5% of the global energy demand. But that figure is expected to rise by up to 30% by 2050. It reflects that the future of the wind turbine industry is bright. However, the fact of the matter is, building a wind turbine is a daunting task. Welcome back to a special video from Lord Gizmo. Today, we're going to be covering the installation of a wind turbine from scratch. Construction of the Foundation This site is located somewhere in Europe. The workers are currently testing the land. It will take a few weeks to prepare the foundation for the structure of the wind turbine. This form of base is known as the octagonal core. Each octagonal shaped platform included a base mat, a top mat, and a column pedestal. Once the ground base gets completed, a ring-like column pedestal is mounted and firmly bolted. This guarantees that the turbine can withstand unbelievably strong winds. The top mat needs more than 3,750,000 pounds of rebar to be added to and around the column pedestal. Now, the structure is ready to be filled with concrete. Usually, up to 240 cubic meters of concrete are used on each foundation. looks like it's done. These types of foundations are the most modern concepts in the engineering world and are the most effective structures yet. This record-breaking blade is amazingly 107 meters long. That's over 350 feet. Workers are preparing it for several strength tests. Weighing in over 11,000 pounds, the blades are vigorously bent for examination. This is done for more than 3 million cycles. But that's not all. Another one is the edgewise static test. These tests are performed in order to determine the structural properties of a blade, including stiffness data and strain distribution. This might take a while, so let's move on to one that's ready to go. Transportation. Now they have the daunting task of transporting these colossal pieces. For this, we use the Dull Wind Blade Transportation System. These intricately engineered machines, tools, and devices make for excellent handling and ease of use. Each transport company has its own secure transport strategies and vehicles, though. This time, the responsibility is given to the Dull System. They can transport blades with lengths of up to 120 meters, almost 400 feet. Consider the fact that the longest trailers you'll probably see in America are 53 feet, or 16 meters. On the way, precision hydraulic steering plays an important role, especially at tight turns generally suited for more ordinarily sized traffic. Extra care is taken for the sides and ground clearance. Often, a wind turbine, or any superload for that matter, will take months to reach its final destination. And would you look at that, the journey is over. However, there's still plenty of risk. 
Usually, towers of wind turbines are divided into two or three sections. A typical turbine tower is more than 328 feet tall. This height is higher than the Statue of Liberty. The first one is mounted with the foundation. Similarly, the second part is fit over the first one, and so on. Now, it's time to hoist the nacelle. A nacelle is nothing but a housing unit that protects all of the generating components in a wind turbine, including the generator, gearbox, drivetrain, and brake assembly. Its aerodynamic body ensures the most efficient use of the wind turbine itself. So finally, it's the turn of the hub to connect all of the blades. The slightest mistake here could lead to the loss of property, injuries, or even death. That's why each blade is lifted with extra care, and thus this is something that almost never happens. Turbines provide significant power and can be a positive investment for various regions, especially those that are more mountainous and, obviously, ones that face strong winds. What do you think of these wind turbines? Do you know why they all only use three blades? Let us know in the comments section below. This style of documentary type video is something new we're trying. Tell us your thoughts. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.